Hello everyone, and welcome again to our latest Marvel Puzzle Quest video. In previous videos, we discussed smart gameplay practices and core aspects of optimal team building, giving you the tools you need to combat whatever comes your way. This time we're going to take a look at the areas of the game you can focus on to help you succeed long term as you forge ahead through the Marvel Puzzle Quest universe, such as smart daily login practices and strategies to both make progress now and build resources for the future. Let's get to it! Whether you only have a few minutes to play Marvel Puzzle Quest or are sitting down for hours of puzzle battle gameplay, there are definite advantages to logging in daily. There are several areas you can check for quick and steady gains, especially if you combine some of your activities to make the most of your time. For example, the Shield Resupply's daily reward can add up to a large amount of resources down the line, but requires a mission to be completed before granting it to the player each day. This is a natural fit when paired with Deadpool's daily quest, which lets you win resources and covers for quick, but progressively difficult battles. Completing even the easiest of these battles will net you not only a win and bonuses, but will trigger the shield resupply as well, and may even complete some of your daily quests. This quick combo is a staple for those who may not have much time to play that day, but still want to gain resources and tackle their dailies. Versus is also well utilized for this and is an easy way to jump into a quick battle, in addition to gaining Versus rewards and tracked wins. Another area to check during a daily login is your roster. Unclaimed covers only last for 14 days and will be converted into ISO 8 if they expire, so it's important to pay attention to any covers you have in your inbox to make sure you recruit or train those you wish to keep before they're gone. A large amount of roster and resource growth comes from the campaign and story events, so it's important to focus on these whenever you're able to keep your gains coming in steadily. Most campaign missions can be completed multiple times for different rewards, so maxing these out is an excellent way to gather extra tokens, covers, and other leveling resources. The story events, however, are ongoing and rotating weekly events that encourage repeated participation. The more battles you win, the more you can earn. Making these story events a priority and choosing the event ranges that are right for you can help you maximize your gains while having fun in the process. It's good to note that in addition to the standard winnings, players who are in an alliance will also add progress to their alliance's standing in some of these events each time they complete a battle, which can earn additional resources on top of the event rewards. Joining an alliance can also grant command points, bonuses to the shield resupply, and other benefits, so you may want to consider finding an alliance that fits your playstyle if you're looking to gain a bit more from your gameplay each day. As we lightly touched on in a previous video, championing is an incredibly helpful way to grow your roster and access higher tiers of characters. Once a hero's level has reached its max and all of their powers are fully leveled, championing raises their level beyond that limit, allowing you to gain even more helpful bonuses. The most important of these in regards to leveling are covers and shards, both of which will be from the next tier higher than the champion character. For example, a two-star champion character can earn three-star shards, a three-star champion can earn four-star covers, and so on. This is instrumental when trying to focus on raising to the next tier of characters and leveling them, as it helps make the rewards less affected by the wide variety of cover tiers in the game. Once a character is fully championed, they can then either be left alone for fighting uses or sold, recouping some of the resources used to build them, re-added to your roster, and leveled again for more targeted resource gains. This is a strategy that takes time, but is extremely helpful when building up your roster to higher tiers. Token use goes hand in hand with championing, as redeeming these is an excellent way to continue gaining covers, shield levels, and shards, but you may wish to do so carefully to prevent overfilling your roster capacity or unlocking covers that you can't yet make good use of. If you're still working with two and three star teams and aren't ready to champion them to work towards four star or higher, 
it's recommended to save your legendary tokens for later and only use recruit and vault tokens that grant two and three star covers, as they'll help you level these tiered characters more quickly. Much of your growth when moving from two to three star will come from non-legendary tokens and items earned in events. So holding on to these higher end tokens for when they can be better utilized during higher tier team building is a helpful strategy that can keep you marching steadily forward later on. Plus, it's always fun to use a bunch of tokens at once for a bundle of great rewards. With hundreds of heroes, team-ups, and supports to unlock and level, there's no shortage of progress to be made in your journey through Marvel Puzzle Quest. Paying attention to planning and strategy will soon find you building a formidable supply of resources and rostered characters, and, most importantly, having a fantastic time doing it. With that, your heroes are at the ready, waiting for you to lead them into battle. As always, keep on fighting the good fight, and we'll see you in-game.